how do we humans perceive the things around us? We have five senses that help us to interact with the world around us. These are sight, hearing, taste, smell and touch. Eyes help us to see things, ears help us to hear sounds, we smell with our nose, taste with our tongue and the sense of touch is provided by our skin. Of course all senses are important but the sense of sight is the most important. Here is an interesting fact. We perceive almost 80% of the world around us by using our sense of sight. We see objects around us with our eyes. But then why don't our eyes see these objects in the dark? The answer to this question is light. We are able to see the objects around us because of the light coming from these objects. The light from these objects travels in space and reaches our eyes. When it's dark or during night time, as there is no light, we are unable to see these objects clearly. Some objects can generate their own light. For instance, the sun, the fluorescent bulbs, burning candles can generate their own light. The objects which generate their own light are called the luminous objects. Almost all of the objects that we come across cannot generate their own light. The table, a chair, wall, paper are few of such examples. Such objects are called as non-luminous objects. But I just told you that we see objects around us because of the light coming from them. And if objects like these cannot generate light, then how come we are able to see them? We are able to see them because of the reflection of light. These objects reflect the light to our eyes. What light are they reflecting? Where is the light coming from? This light is nothing but the light coming from the luminous objects. So how can we summarize this? We are able to see non-luminous objects because they reflect the light of the luminous objects falling on these surfaces. Let me repeat. The light coming from the luminous objects falls on the non-luminous objects. Non-luminous objects then reflect this light and this reflected light travels towards our eyes. And that's why we see the objects. In the daytime, we are able to see blue skies, the white clouds and the green grass because the light from the sun is getting reflected by them and travelling towards our eyes. At night, we are able to see the moon because it is reflecting the light from the sun. Note that moon is non-luminous and it cannot generate its own light. As I said earlier, most of the objects that we come across in our daily life are non-luminous. We only see them because they reflect the light. Step inside a dark room, light up a torch and point it at the distant wall. Look carefully at the path of the light coming from the torch. You will see tiny dust particles in the air. What is the reason for this? Why are you able to see these particles? You are able to see the dust particles because the light from the torch is getting reflected from their surfaces and travelling towards our eyes. We also see the same thing in a very dimly lit room where the only source of light is a small amount of sunlight coming from the window. In this video, we saw that the reflection of light plays an important role. It's because of the reflection of light that we are able to see most of the objects. In the next video, we will talk about the laws of reflection of light.